Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is March March, a strategic turn-based roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. Checked it out about 10 months ago, and the demo received a lot of updates to it, apparently. Apparently, it is almost a completely different game. Very excited to see what has changed, what has improved since then. Uh, but effectively, we're going to be getting units every turn in almost shapes kind of like Tetris pieces, and we choose where they go along a bunch of columns, a bunch of rows, uh... Rose? Rose. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to send them out to fight the enemy's units that are also going to be given to them in the form of kind of Tetris pieces in a way. So, that being said, for every 10 kills, get a mana. Create barricades that have three hit points, returns, and melee damage on a five second cooldown. I mean, sh sure. I don't know exactly what we want to be going for here. Undead army. Okay, so we actually we actually have a, a layout here that we're going to be doing. Every turn, you and your opponent get the same formation of units. The formation consists of the same classes, but if one player doesn't have that class, a weaker one will be taken instead. Uh, we're going to be able to get different upgrades for these units. Basically, move them along uh, different types of upgrade trees and potentially even add an extra unit or something like that. And that's what it's saying, is if we had an extra musketeer, they would replace, like, and they didn't have it. They would send in their pawn or whatever the heck. Uh, all right. So here we go. March, March. So we get this set of units. You can see that they got the same exact uh, thing here. Basically, we're going to want to send them out here and clear out a row. And if you attack a row where there is no units, you will actually be able to uh, run on through. Does it? Wait. This game, it tells you exactly where they're going to uh, to throw them to. I mean, that is certainly handy. Restores one mana when de dealing morale damage. Does two damage, five HP. I think we'll send it out. Summon an earth elemental, hit points four, attack two, low initiative. So these are some spells that we have. Rotate a squad two by two, 180 degrees. You know, for now, let's just... Let's just send them out, I'd say. Space. Okay. All right. Okay. So we do get to see exactly what they're going to be doing, and we get to plan a little bit more accordingly to it. Summon an Earth Elemental with four HP and two attack with low initiative. I assume that'll mean that they attack a little bit slower. Okay. So we have this tanky son of a gun. We have a Ranger. Range three, damage two. I wouldn't mind having the Ranger sort of like there, but I don't want to... Maybe we can set the ranger up behind that. This seems pretty solid. They're going to be going two damage, two damage. They're going to be trading, basically, and then we can set up with a little bit of a range attack. All those sound effects are playing at the same time. That's something that I notice so many demos and games have as an issue. Uh, no kind of, like, clamping on the sound effects so that, you know, like, they all kind of play at the same time, and it sort of overloads the audio a bit. Uh, splash shot, range two, damage one. So th I think that'll be, like, you will attack this and do one damage to everything in a circle, which seems terrifying. That being said, they're all going to die anyway. We could... Now, we can't really put a setup where we... We can put down the Earth Elemental and the Barricade, I, I, I suppose. Oh, interesting. So that scoots them back. What's your range? Range 2, damage 3. That's not going to be great unless we, we could do this. we we'll do that now. We can kill this. He's got to break this. We will break the Archer now. He only does 1 damage when he's in melee range. Okay. They're intending to send something here, meaning we could drop this here if we think that we're going to be fine, which is certainly a stretch. Hit points four, attack to low initiative. Hardness. Do we... Sure? What's hardness do? Reduce attacker's damage by one. I mean, that seems really nice. Let's send this. I have faith. So we've marched, we've marched. We've done morale damage. That is right there. That is effectively, that is march, march for you. 
Uh, so we're going to get another march up here, another march. No, we're not going to get another another one, but this is fine. But you got to be careful because the second you get a march, like what I, I just is what I call it. I, as soon as we do a morale damage with this, he's going to be gone. So he'll, like he'll run up. I believe he'll run up. That being said, what do we do here? Range two, damage three. Rotate 180 degrees. So if we did it here, theoretically... Bang, bang, but then I guess that wouldn't really do anything. Maybe I just try and uh, set up a really good barricade for this. Get the one march. If they don't block this lane, we just win anyways. Okay, so we all we literally all we have to do is just set up and go. I mean, it's the first fight. It's not gonna be too wild. But that being said, what the hell would I do? What would I do about that next turn? Holy moly! All right, recruit a new unit to your army or choose an upgrade for one of your current units. Let's go with an upgrade. Uh, quick reaction, when entering combat, shoots before the ma main combat phase for one damage. Ooh. When entering combat, changes places with the ally standing in front. That seems really convenient as well. Takes a shot at the target furthest from the sniper. Oh, this is all tricky. I got I think I'm going to go with the hunter. It sounds interesting. Okay. It is really handy that we get to see what they're doing here. So you do 2 damage, you do 2 damage as well. So this guy's going to live this turn. Two damage, three damage. How much did you do? I don't hate this idea. Two damage. Okay, so we should get two kills here. Kill, kill. Obviously, that is a bit of an issue. Uh, we could send out either just a barricade or this has armor. What does that mean? I think that means he blocks the first instance of damage, maybe? Oh, this is going to be destructive. Low initiative, stun chance, 25%. We're going to get a march here, which means that this hunter is going to uh, to run up. Range 2, damage 1. So I think he's just going to do 1 damage. I think he maybe only does a splash shot if he is at range 2, I think. Oh, wait, can we... Oh, we can do that with this, too. Ah. So if we did that, I'm trying to ex I'm trying to picture it. If we did this 180 degrees, it'd go bop, bop. The one, two. One, two. That's actually pretty good. And also, I kind of want to get a different setup at this point. Okay, so you're only going to do one damage. You're going to do nothing. We're going to be able to kill you for free, pretty much. Uh, the AoE attack is a little rough. I feel like I'm not going to... Oh, oops. I meant to put down a barricade first. That's rough. It's fine. I meant to put down the barricade first. But now this is a an untapped lane. So we're going to get one kill here. One, two. One, two. Eh. Don't love that. So this is a random spell, I guess, that we get as this character. We could get a free march, but the issue with that is... That is a unit kind of just going away as well. This is really dangerous, but I, I think we... 
do it. We get the we'll take the one freebie here. It's all the way down to two. So yeah, it only takes two HP as well. That's that's the other thing to keep in mind. It doesn't actually take the whole unit. I think we send it. This is not the number one best scenario here. That's all right. Don't love this. Don't love that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna not get a march here. We're gonna kill. This is looking not the best. I could just put down uh, the earth elemental here. I think I like that idea. And then we try and focus a little bit more. That's going to be a kill. That's going to be a trade. But he has low initiative, which I think means he goes second. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. He did indeed die first. Okay. Okay. All right, so there's a march. We just need to defend over here, pretty much. Ay ay ay, ay ay ay. This will be a kill trade march. There, we're gonna be fine here. We're fine here. This is not great. We don't have anything that's a particularly higher range. What if we if we vortex this? We can get an extra march and just win, right? Am I am I incorrect? I don't believe I am. March, march. Oh, we got you died. Wait, why'd you die? Oh, we got splash attacked. You dirty devil. Well, we win anyways, because you're gonna be running it up there. We're fine. We should should be should be fine. Send it. Go, go, go. That would have been... If we would have ran that next turn afterwards, that would have been scary. Okay. Recruit invent inveterate thugs to replenish your morale. Every turn on your map regenerates morale. I don't really need that. Learn a powerful spell and increase your mana. Ice arrow. Two mana deals one magic damage to an enemy and decrease its initiative. That seems uh, nuts. Buff an ally, plus two melee attack, and plus one incoming damage. I think that Ice Arrow sounds a little bit better. We have a stinking little bat and a cute little bard. One damage and decrease, and decrease their initiative, though. That's like the really big thing there. Hold! Deal damage to the morale of the enemy army to recharge skills or mana faster than usual. Takes the last hit point from an enemy and gives it to an ally? Oi, oi, oi. So I do not like the splash. But... Killing the front line, killing that guy in one shot sounds good, because this is three damage, two damage. I like it. I, I like that. The buff is pretty rough, though. Okay. Terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. damage. If we slow anybody's initiative, we will get a kill on them. We can basically spend two mana to kill one without losing our swordsman, which is very appealing. Because he's now... Yeah, decrease initiative. He'll attack second. Range two. You know what? Same thing here. I'm happy enough with this. Oh! Just incorrect about the initiative there. Okay. Oh, 
Hunter, extra shot with the damage of one. I mean... That could be good enough. Do we get a free attack off? We do. It's not free, though. He was able to melee attack, even though we technically looked like we were further away. High initiative, charge, melee attack, one. Charge. Okay. I don't know what... Boom, 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 doesn't say anything about the specific different things there. Uh, restore a mana when dealing morale damage. I actually really like the idea of doing that then. Because he's going to get morale damage, but he's not going to die. This we need to kill. And I kind of want to have that there too. Uh, range two, damage one. We can do one to him. If we do this, he dies this turn. Do that, he dies this turn too, and he dies as well. I think that's a fine send. Wait, what? You did damage to the corpse. You what, man? Okay. All right, let's set up our. Do you do melee damage? You do melee damage. I'll set up the barricade. It's on a five-turn cooldown. I should probably be using it a little bit more often. But I think it's going to be fine. That's good. Does this work? Because why is this corpse still here? He attacks the corpse. And you are in range three. Oh, this is... Oh, this is brutal. We're going to be taking a morale, but it's not that big of a deal if we take one morale damage here. Not that big of a deal at all. So we, if we kill them on this turn, their corpse is still going to be there. High initiative. Range three damage two. Uh... I kind of want to, like, swap you up. We could also... If we are fine with summoning a lot of resources, we can do that into a little bit of this. But th this is such an overflown area here. Overblown as hell. 2-2. I... Two, two. This is actually a good, solid trade. We'll probably want to, like... Two by two, rotate one of these sons of guns here. Bad, bad, bad. So the bats coming out there. This is rough. We're gonna run out of uh, ingredients here. I like that trade fine. This AOE blast is destructive. AoE, it does an AoE in a freaking, oh my god, in that grid. That is disgusting. I think I just have to let this through. Genuinely. I love this. These guys are getting buffed. Aura plus one damage. Do not love that. Don't love anything that's going on, really. It's pretty terrifying. I do like the quick shot archer, and then we get the one neophyte who is going to be able to do a little bit of action there. Hmm. What to block? Returns one melee damage is not quite what we're looking at. I'll put it here. We'll kill the bat for free, and we're going to keep the other guys. Okay. That, that worked out all right. That worked out all right. We do have that empty lane there now because we marched successfully, I, I, I suppose. AoE attack coming out from this jabroni. It, 
Reduce damage, reduce damage, increase damage. Incoming damage is decreased. Who's reducing your damage? Either way, I think this is okay. It's not my favorite, but it's, it's okay. No point in doing that. It wouldn't even get a kill. This is a this is like a lost cause to an extent, but we can keep that man alive for an entire extra turn, really. I bet. If we just do it that way. This barricade! Oh my god, I thought that they would attack. Like, I thought they would march from behind it. Uh-oh. Like, it makes sense, but also, ah. Okay, that's, this is a fine lineup. We're gonna kill and kill. Uh, tr that's a trade. Don't love that. Send it. Absolutely disgusting layout there. Absolutely disgusting layout. What's a guy to do? Do we just accept... I, maybe I just accept the morale loss on this one right here. This... I, uh, the barricade. I didn't think that they wouldn't march. I understand that they wouldn't attack if they're in melee, but I didn't think they wouldn't march. Which I guess is the same thing. And a, a march is an attack. We would have actually gotten this here if the barrier wasn't down... Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. We could just let that sort of sneak through a little bit. Sort of be okay with it to an extent. And do two damage, which is enough to kill. But not enough to kill this. Yeah, I'm. I just. I don't love this. Three damage in an AOE. How is that allowed? How is that allowed? Thank God I'm free. How is three damage in an AOE okay? Current and maximum morale boosted by three. Selected ally performs a ranged attack. I think it has to be a ranged unit if I remember correctly. Swap an ally with the unit behind it. Hmm. I mean, this seems like a good idea, but also boring. Hmm. Ancient artifact or the power of golems. Or get a new unit. Uh, golem. Low initiative protection from ranged attacks of mages and their auras. Hardness after each melee attack on the golem. Enemy damage is reduced by one. Oh, that's what hardness was. Or the living, living, living bell. Stun all enemies for a turn is actually nuts. Though, yes, it's a 10 turn cooldown, but that is nuts. The golem is just better than other units, though. There's something really appealing about that. I've got to go with this, though. Like a full on freaking stun. Oop. Uh oh. Creates a barrier. So you have the you have the barrier that's gonna ruin things as well. Good. Three hit points returns one damage. I truthfully though, I think we send out the barricade. on turn one. It's cool down to five. I think that's all right. Yeah, it does not... I can't select any of my units. So he's gonna smack... We'll kind of, like, use it up a little bit earlier here. Stun all enemies. There's something about stunning all enemies immediately that is appealing in a way. Don't think it's the answer, though. That's rough. Does this not work how I think? Lower initiative should mean that it goes second. Oh, well, there's just a one bopper wave here. Should mean that it goes second, but apparently I could be wrong. Hmm. 
Okay, just a guy. We could... We could do the stun this turn. I'm doing it. Let's try that out. I want to see how much of a difference that makes, because if it's a 10 turn cool, then we might be able to use it again if we use it early enough. If we use it early enough, we might be fine. Okay, that's actually solid. I still don't have a ranged unit. Okay. Good trading there. Might want to do the AoE swap back on some of these. This guy, I'm fine with him to run. Yeah, we can do the AoE swap right here. It's strange, but it'll, it'll keep kill that one. The other one will stay alive. You're already dying. You're already dying. You don't have the range to do anything. But I think if we put you here, because this is going to... We're going to need that sooner than later. Okay. Good. There's one march. This is going a lot better. That stun is nuts. That stun is unbelievably nuts. Okay. We have three mana left. Does this work? It, the corpse does block it, like, entirely. We get one mana back for free there. Awesome. I really feel like... Oh, there's <laughs> two of them! Two of them? Uh, bleh. How do I... I mean, I have four, I have four mana. I could try and ice arrow both of them and just hope it's good enough hope that it works the way that it sort of sounds like it's supposed to does it work correctly this time it did we saved everybody we're gonna get mana back on this bottom row here this is going so much better obviously uh high initiative vampirism 2 wait how do we deal with that Probably should have put down the barrier. We've got March March, which is good and bad. It's an emptier row as a result of that. Okay, if we do this. We're good. We want to get this row here. We should be able to... Okay, so that lowered his initiative down to normal is really probably a better way of saying that. Okay, so we're going to win. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, my God. Boop, boop, boop. That's... That's stun. Oh. No, you put that a bone spike. God, I got got. I got got. I got got. He put down the freaking barrier at the last moment. I got got. Okay. Don't love this. Really don't love this. High initiative vampirism too. How do you deal with that? How do you deal with that unit? It's just so much stronger than everything else. A golem, I guess? But I think... That's busted. I wish that counted. I, I mean, like, I genuinely thought we were fine, but... You sent the bone spikes after, because it doesn't telegraph when the bone spikes are coming out, because it's not a normal attack. <laughs> so, um... Sure. Just, just try and live. 
This is just a stall lane at this point. We got it back in time. We got it back in time. We're probably going to be okay then. Nope, that, that one's going to get through. Barrier is something. I don't have any ranged units in a spot that it's going to matter for. This is stank. Genuinely just put that there and kind of stall. This is not bad. I think we want to put down a tanky boy for this vampire. Okay, you're blocking there. Ay, 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 ay. I can't do it. I thought that maybe, maybe we would like luck out. How much do you do? You do three, you do two. All right. Math checks out. Oh, okay. I might be, f I might be free. I don't know. I might just get absolutely bopped by that again, though. Um. Again, probably putting the tanky boy there is fine enough. Please, please march. Please be march. Please don't be like a random barrier. Let's go. Let's go. Absolutely beautiful. Recruit a mage and power up your spells. Choose an upgrade for one of your... Let's go with an upgrade. 10% chance that an ally entering combat gains a hit point. Spearman? All of them just gaining one health is... Sounds dumb, but when the board starts with all of them being on the field and ours are already better than theirs, we could just win from raw, like, silly strength. Okay, um, like a large part of me thinks that taking morale damage, the king of the undead moves closer to the front line. Okay. Takes the last hit point from an enemy and gives it to an ally. Yep. Oh, we got chain mail anyways. I didn't know if, I didn't know that that was just going to be something that we got also for sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking turn one Living Bell to just guaranteed get a big improvement and we will probably get to do it a second time is huge. I, I think that just because we can probably get to do it again is the reason. Do we send down a bit? No reason to send down a barricade. So that guy got plus one armor. Okay. Oh. Oh. It doesn't. It doesn't. Ah. Uh, I did it. Ah. Uh, I did it with the thought that these guys would be upgraded too. It's not nearly as good then. That's not nearly as good then. The other one probably would have been more exciting for sure. Ah. Uh, beans. Okay. Hate that man. We need to be able to kill this guy this turn so that we can take out the grenade man on this turn. Big. Big huge. Cavalry charge damage three. I'm gonna assume that means he'll like when he moves up to the front line, he does a little bit of damage. You know what would be great then? The barricade. We got a nice setup going here. Okay, just want our units around longer. Just do thick lines. Okay. Charge damage three. So I'm assuming that just means an extra three damage on this on this attack. Which I don't really care too much. We're gonna get a march here, then he's gonna be gone. 
This is fine. Oh, we got an extra HP. We locked out there. Yeah, okay. So the charge is it went on spawn in. Okay. One morale, good. So you do just do four damage. That is, that's just actually accurate. Hardness. Increased initiative and damage. So he's neutral initiative. We've blown a lot of resources here, but I think it's okay. I think that we've got a good setup. We've got this man who's going to be giving us more mana. There's a vampire. I think that we just let this wave sort of do its thing. Oi. One damage, one damage. This could just be a stupid wet noodle fight. Okay. I like what I'm seeing so far. I think that we, we're in a good setup. Charge. Okay. I mean, rough, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, attack first. I th almost think I just... I almost think I just let the morale damage happen from the vampire because I don't know how to properly handle him with my current setup. So I almost think we just allow it. Right? Like, it sounds stupid. Oh, that didn't count. Oh, the initiative downgrade is permanent. That's, I mean, that's nice. I suppose I could drop the barricade. Certainly nothing wrong with that. No ranged units to do any attacks here. I kind of want to send this here so we can keep on getting morale damage in here. Uh, this is not stellar, but I don't have any... Like, I'm not... I don't have a ranged unit that I'm dropping in. Okay. Extra morale. Good. Still, okay, so there's a ranged unit, finally. Very nice. Getting that guy out of the way. Getting an extra mana here. I think we are... We are set really, really well here. Um... I only have two mana... How does the how does the initiative work with it though? Is this stupid? Does, when does the healing come out? What? I, oh, Spearman has a ranged attack. Shot range two damage three, but I can't do it. Curious. Okay, well, let's stun everything because that's just the way to go. That's obviously like huge. That should that should for all intents and purposes be the win. Shot range two damage three. That's not accurate, right? He's not doing that, is he? He's certainly not at the ready to do it. I think we just accept that. Get the free shot off. Okay, we have a barricade for what though? I don't know what I really care about barricading. Actually, that's that's really good. 
Oh, that's so good. We're going to get charge blasted, but this it, what a nice trade that is. I think we're okay to try and bolster a, a lane or so down here. So, yeah, we're going to get one morale in here. Good, and we don't have to worry about anything. That's good. It's done. Sorted. Yeah, just fully bolster up on top here. There's one march. If they've got to block both, they're blocking neither. We win. Okay. Whew. Who nearly? That's a that's a double morale. King of Undead. Oh, is that oh, oh? Okay, I see. I did not realize. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's actually just his HP. Receives one damage from any attack when standing behind allies. Raise their initiative. Oh Lord. Uh oh. Again, kind of just maybe fine to drop that there. Super buff up this lane so we always have something hopefully going in to take down the Undead King. Like, I'm, I was just kind of okay with that trade of that going away. Do you get lifesteal from attacking this? Oh, he moves! Uh, I got got again. Got got again. Range three. We could happily uh, set him like this. Oh, boy. Did not know. Did not know. I don't know if... Taking morale damage, the king of the undead moves closer to the front line. Okay. So that's that's what that's talking about. So if we do morale damage, he's, he moves up closer to potentially die. Right? He scoots up to the front. Okay. Stun everything. Fantastic. Just free stuff there. Just two damage. Move to the back of that one now. Alright. This is getting brutal. Increased damage. Not great. Ghost... Receives only one damage from any physical attack. Chance to evade. I mean, you know, it's fine enough. Piercing shot, range seven. Whoa! Uh-oh. That row is terrifying. All of a sudden. That row is all of a sudden terrifying. High initiative, okay. Charge, fear, double magic shot. What the hell are you talking about? I feel like getting the bomber who has double double attack damage up for the AOE, getting that out of the way sounds fantastic. Do three damage. I think that we can sort of justify that. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh. We do get an immediate attack off if we do this. Extra shot damage one. I feel like the extra shot does damage no matter where you're at, but I don't like the idea that we're gonna take. Ah. I don't like the idea that we're sending him into his death. So maybe this is better. 
you do two damage. That gets you killed. And then we don't, we're not sending somebody into their death for no good reason. This is just such a classic little setup there. Only one damage, and then he's going to move. I, yeah, okay. Fair, fair, fair. This is fine. I think so. Okay. So we're going to get double attack off here. Which is big. Big. That's two damage. We only need to do one. Of course, you're the freaking all the way in the back. All the way in the back. Um, One damage back from reflection is not particularly exciting. I actually don't think I want... I don't think I want my... I mean, I could have put down this here, maybe? But I, I'm actually okay with how that shook out there. Believe it or not. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. One free shot. Set it up. Just get prepared. We just need to do one more damage to the Undead King here. Just one more and we're all good. Oh, beautiful. I'm so glad we sent it when we sent it. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, we gotta do the whole... Oh, no. Okay. You won the battle, but not the war. Jorg has promised to return. <laughs> George. Thank you for playing March March. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support us, add a game to your wishlist and take the survey. Very fun. Yeah, uh, the game has really absolutely uh, improved, gotten way, 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 way more fun. It was already fun, but yeah, uh, I love the changes from what I've noticed. Very excited to see what happens uh, further in development. It's going to be coming out in March, <laughs> March of 2023. March, March in March 23. So alas, check it out then. That is that. That's going to do it here for today. If you like roguelikes, if you like roguelites, this is a channel for you. You got to make sure you're subscribed. Play new ones every single day. Get notified when the videos come out so you never miss a great new game in the genre. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!